and welcome to another installment of Soccer Night in Ohio. It's the home half of Major League Soccer's first kick, 2012 at Columbus Crew Stadium. This Andy Grenoble retains his spot. Will Hesma almost back 100% healthy. He'll be on the bench and he's pushing for that spot. A lot of familiar names to MLS fans. There are, there's a lot of MLS minutes there. A couple of young guys and of course, Josh Gardner coming in at left back. Each team has had a couple of good looks at the opposing goal. Tremendous crowd, as one would expect, here at Drew Stadium. Such a lot of touch from Justin Matt. And a good ball by Ossi. Header, great save. Danger still not over. Right in front for Braun, cut off by Grindelbaum. It's one that fluctuates in the defensive half of the field. Players need to be mindful of where the opponents are and the purpose of it to prevent uh, cherry picking. But cherry picking is a nice experience when you have the time. And a red card is show. Brofsky with disbelief on his face. Here's what happened. Well, you see it again, Morosovic going up, and Borowski's arm is above his head. You see his elbow right up high, hits Milovan in the head, and you know what? I don't know why he's going up with his arm that high in the air, Dwight. Look at it, it's way up there. His point of his elbow is up high, and that's, a, that's well seen by the referee. He goes, follows through with his arm. Needs to be on the ball. He's the one that needs to kind of get that stuff going. Here he is here. Look to play the run of Vargas. Renteria, look at that size and strength. Not once, but twice. In a crowd, on the move. Down he goes, referee points to the spot. And Montreal goes ballistic, led by Davey Arno. And Josh Gardner is in his face. Well, Montreal unhappy now. And the yellow card is shown. Renteria, the swizzle stick, stirring things up. You see him here, just so big and strong. And Felipe actually getting a foot on the ball first, then Romilio getting it back. You see it again, a little slower. He has a dabble at it. Here comes Felipe. He gets his foot on the ball. Emilio wins it back. And then as Felipe rolls over the top, he gets a piece of Emilio. Montreal really feeling it first, losing a man to a red card. And then the penalty kick just 10 minutes later. Morosevic to give the home side a lead. Whistle blows. Shot is taken. And it's in the back of the net. There it is again, and this is where it all came from. Emilio Renteria's strength and just persistency there. Just battles his way through, earns the penalty kick. Mirosevic, goal, and that's got the crowd back on their feet. There's that energy. Now the crew need to settle down, gain that rhythm, and knock the ball around, Dwight. They outwork people, Dwight, like you said. Mirosevic brings in Sean Francis. It's so much of last season due to injury issues. Really still trying to play himself back into match fitness. Eddie Gavin, look at that bullet! And what a save by a diving Donovan Ricketts. Not a lot of keepers in this league get to that ball. I'll tell you what, look at Gavin, he recognizes the space and that is, I mean, that is a laser and that is heading straight for the side net and that is some save Ricketts. Wow, full stretch tipping it around the post. That's a world-class save. Here comes Renteria, if he can get onto that right boot. Not yet. Good decision to link up Gavin. From the right channel. Header, save, rebound is covered up. Defended well, and then a foul on Emilio Renteria. Who can blame him? He's going after that ball to put it in the back of the net. He is, and that's very well done by Ferrari, the strong Italian defender there. His body, he's in the way, he shields the ball well. And again, Ricketts, another good save. Look at that, Vargas with a good powerful header going backwards and Ferrari, good defending to get his body in between Emilio Renteria and the ball. Obviously the final pass, I mean, we, we have to make, make sure the final pass is over there. 
but I think uh, uh, Milo and then uh, and Orso they're doing a good job of uh, keeping the ball and then uh, really really um, uh, you know giving us good chance. All right, thanks, Coach Dwight and Duncan. Back to you. And it's two nothing Columbus. Two goals, two new guys. What a ball from Francis. I mean, that's a great, and the run, perfect from Vargas. Great, powerful hitter. Good ball, good run, and that's what happens. Ricketts on that occasion, not given a chance by Vargas. Down bottom corner, that's where you put it. And the insurance goal Coach Vaziha just talked about, he'll be smiling now, Dwight. Well, a sublime touch to say the least, but it had to be to get past Donovan Ricketts. Make sure there's a full 10 yards. That's a healthy 10 yards. Restart. Ball flighted in. Marshall's header. Ricketts, how about that? He's got a couple save of the week offerings. Full stretch again. Marshall just couldn't believe that he kept that out. And that's cat like reflexes from the big fella. Tip that one around the post. They had a few shots. Obviously, Max Cannon dipping, swerving shot that hit the crossbar. 87th minute. Columbus looking to extend their history of success in opening day encounters as well as against expansion teams. Game's not over yet. How about Greenenbaum? Take that, Donovan Ricketts. <laughs> He's got a save of his own in his bag of tricks. Look at Felipe getting a little bit of space, and it takes a wicked deflection off O'Rourke. So Grenenbaum has to readjust his feet and tip that over, and that's a good save. Felipe's really going to be a nice addition to this league. To the season winner head-to-head -head annually. And that is the only loss that Columbus Crews had against the Canadian team in MLS play. Nordek. <laughs> plenty to sing about today and plenty to celebrate. 